Fifth place, Ottoman Empire. The Turkish Empire of Ottoman descent dominated the Middle East, North Africa, Turkey and the Balkans. This empire conquered countless countries and governments during its lifetime. Their greatest conquest is the destruction of the Eastern Roman Empire, or Byzantium. In 1453, they conquered Constantinople, the capital of Byzantium, and ended the life of the old Roman Empire. The distinguishing point of the Ottoman Empire was that it could manage the deep racial differences in the Middle East and the Balkans for centuries. Throughout history, there were few empires that managed to control the diversity in this region even for a short period of time. The Ottoman Empire was so powerful and stable in dominating the world that it even succeeded in conquering the city of Vienna in the heart of Europe in 1683 AD. But in the last seconds, when the relief force arrived from Poland, Vienna remained semi-functional, and the siege of the city of Vienna ended after the turmoil in the Ottoman army. If the city of Vienna fell, most of Europe would likely fall to this empire, and as said, the Ottomans were very skilled at managing a multinational empire, and if they could advance in Europe, they would surely succeed. But the Ottoman Empire at the height of its glory was only able to dominate 3.49% of the world's land and was finally overthrown in 1923. Fourth place, United States. Many people think that the United States has come closer to world domination than any other country. These days, the United States has military bases on every continent except Antarctica, and it has dependent states from all over the world that directly control the world. Washington takes orders. But most people believe okay, that the good. United States should not be considered an empire. Even the United States was under the rule of Spain and England a few hundred years ago. But what perhaps less people know is that after the end of World War II in 1945, the United States developed as much as possible. American forces controlled Western Europe, Japan, Korea, the Caribbean Islands, and most of Africa. The control of billions of people and a huge part of the world's industries, along with a dynamic army, allowed the United States to step on the path of dominating the world. But this government decided to give up the, direct, control of the nations and become what we see today. Third place, British Empire. As everyone knows, the British Empire was one of the largest empires in the entire world. In 1922, this empire controlled nearly 22.6% of the world's land and 20% of the world's population. The most important distinguishing feature of the British Empire was its impenetrable position. The British Empire controlled almost all the world's trade routes and at the same time had an invincible army and the largest navy in the world. Regarding the issue of how far the British could dominate the world in 1922 when their empire stood up again after the disaster of World War I and was stronger than ever, if they wanted they could dominate more areas and the empire make Britain one of the few kingdoms close to dominating the whole world. Second place, Roman Empire. The Roman Empire came close to dominating the world long before the common people imagined. In fact, this empire controlled nearly 21% of the entire world during its reign in 117 AD. During their heyday, the Romans dominated all of Europe and succeeded in conquering Egypt, North Africa, and all of Asia Minor and Mesopotamia. The Roman army was one of the most well-organized and well-equipped armies in the world, and it had achieved a special skill in fighting against foreign armies. But the main reason why the Romans could not rule the whole world was the Parthian Empire, the Iranian government based in the Iranian plateau. The Romans fought with the Iranians for more than a few hundred years and lost in more than 85% of those wars, and the Iranians took this opportunity from the Romans. First place, Achaemenid Empire. The Achaemenid Empire, known as the Iranian Empire. Compared to other empires in the entire human history, this empire was closer to our definition of world domination. In fact, only 6% was left to dominate half of the world's population. During its period of power, the Achaemenid Empire ruled over 44.48% of the inhabitants of the earth. In fact, in 480 BC, one out of every two people was under Iranian rule. The Achaemenid Empire, unlike the other empires on this list, had a very high chance to dominate the entire globe. But he lost this chance due to his wars with Greek governments and terrible defeats at critical moments. Anyway, 
the Achaemenid Empire was one of the first attempts to establish an empire in human history and one of the multinational dynasties in the true sense. After the overthrow of the Achaemenid Empire by Alexander the Great, no other empire could come close to dominating the world's population as much as Iran.